Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about everyone's favorite topic, mega menus and oftentimes mobile menus. Thanks to the team over at Ollie, friend of the show, Mike McAllister, now has Ollie menu designer for free in the WordPress repo. This will allow you, well, there's two things. It unlocks the ability to load a mobile menu uh, to override the navigation and the design of your block-based theme. And then it allows you to insert a block called drop-down block. I'm surprised it's not called mega menu block, but it allows you to insert the drop-down block in order to load what's commonly knows, known as a mega menu to unlock more feature-rich menus, stuff with lots of content, lots of links, call-to-actions, images, etc., the basis of this is, of course, purely WordPress, uh, driven by blocks, building patterns, and then taking those patterns and then loading them into your mobile menu display, and then for the mega menu display. And I think Mike has put together a simple yet elegant uh, solution to what plagues many of WordPress websites, especially those block-based themes. In today's example, I'm, I'm using the, of course, free plugin and the free Ollie theme, which comes with some menu patterns already designed to make life a little bit easier for you. And of course, if you want the real cool designs, you'd have to upgrade to uh, Ollie Pro, but it is not a requirement. And again, you can use this plugin on any block-based theme of your choosing. So let's just take a look at the website. Uh, when we have uh, our website loaded up here, this is again out of the box Ollie. Uh, if I inspect this, and we're going to start with looking at mobile menu first. When I bring it down and select the hamburgers, it starts a very simple uh, run of the mill list of pages. So we're going to go ahead and edit this. So let's edit the site. There's many ways to navigate your way to editing the template parts and the header and the navigation blocks. I'm simply clicking on edit site, which is bringing us into the template page to which I will then select the navigation block for this particular template. And let me get rid of this example here because we don't want to look at that yet. Click on the gear icon. And now with Mike's plugin installed, uh, a new me mobile menu display is available. A little call to action to watch his full length video on how to set this all up. And it'll say, hey, define a mobile menu. What mobile menu would you like to load here when this website goes down to mobile view. We don't have any. So we're going to create one for the first time. It's going to bring us into a blank canvas editor. Now remember, like I said at the beginning, this is all based on blocks which build up to patterns, which is very common in the WordPress world these days. I'm going to click on the block tray, open up the patterns, go to the pre-made menu patterns that Mike has already designed for us. And I'm going to drop in this one because that's very easy to see the difference <laughs> when we look at this as an example. And now because this is a mobile menu, uh, we can go in here and, or excuse me, because this is a pattern, which will load in as our mobile menu, I can go in and modify this, uh, change it up, put my logo in, add some more links, put in a call to action block, whatever it, our heart desires with designing with blocks and patterns, it will then load this as our mobile menu. Okay, so now let's go back to our header. Navigation already selected, gear icon. Mobile menu, let's save that mobile menu right there. You can preview it, which is a nice touch. So if you have multiple mobile menus that you've made, you can kind of bounce back and go, okay, is this the one that I want? Or maybe you're doing like seasonal sale. Hey, it's fall, we're selling pumpkins now. <laughs> There's Black Friday coming. You can swap these menus in and out and preview it right here. Nice little touch. And then we'll hit save, view the site, inspect once again, bring that down to mobile. And when we click on the hamburger icon, now it's loading the mobile menu that we designed and we put in there. So really simple, really nice stuff from Mike and team, of course, at Ollie. Now, the same thing applies for the mega menu. Let's just go ahead and delete that item there. Uh, the same thing applies for the mega menu, and you're going to add a block. So let's add the block. It's called drop down menu. And we'll give it a text label. So we'll say mega menu in capital letters with an exclamation point, because why not? And we will go and create a new one. I could select the mobile menu, uh, but let's create a new one. 
And this will be our mega menu. Let's see what he has for options, because to be fair, I haven't looked at all of them yet. Um, these all seem like more mobile-ish, and this one seems more like a, a mega menu where we might start seeing, you know, more content, you know, more interactive, more immersive, bigger kind of menu. So we'll go back to the header one more time. Click on Mega Menu, make sure we can see that right here. And it's actually assigned to the mobile menu, so we wanna switch that to drop down menu. Preview that, make sure we get the right one, and we do. So let's go ahead and save that. We'll view the site. Click on that Mega Menu, and there it is. There's our Mega Menu. It's got a little close button right there. We got a call to action. Uh, probably best suited if it were more at the beginning of this navigation, so that would expand and look really good. But that is how you're solving Mega Menus, at least when it comes to the Ollie Menu Designer plugin. Now for free, right inside the WordPress repo. Works a treat with the Ollie theme, which I think we can all agree is a very nice uh, block-based WordPress theme, again, for free. And then you can always upgrade to the Pro if you want more designs, more patterns, and that sort of thing. So check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave your comments below. I'm sure you will, especially for those of you who have suffered over mega menus for some time <laughs> for the WordPress block-based themes. Thumbs up if you like the video. Share the video, of course. And don't forget to check out the WP Minute. Stay subscribed at the newsletter at the wpminute.com slash subscribe.